Hey guys, it's Tiffany and happy Friday. I'm here for Free Tarot Friday and uh, we're going to go through every sign in the zodiac, Aries all the way through Pisces, and we're going to figure out what the Tarot might have to say for your weekend ahead. So this is a fun form of entertainment coming to you from Wise Skies. Wise Skies is a metaphysical counseling company. We offer sessions and classes in astrology, Tarot, mediumship, Akashic Records, Nine Star Key, Human Design all of the things that make you feel um, connected to yourself. Um, these are all tools for self-development and uh, they should be, you know, part of your journey along the way at some point. If you're new, if you're brand new, we have a start here page, but uh, I wanted to make sure everybody knows that Jen is coming back to teach us a class on Nine Star Key on October 13th. Um, and I, there's an article up, there's a freebie up, uh, if you're new to Nine Star Key, it's just a different way to look at the energy forecast for the month. Um, it's ancient, it dates back 5,000 years, and I learned so much. I'm about to release the podcast about it, so uh, if you guys are into podcasts or, or YouTube, the YouTube channel will have it too. Um, Jen gives us some good foundations, but anyways, her workshop is on the 13th, 20 bucks. And if you are a member of the Wise Skies Collective, uh, she is our teacher for this month. Okay, so in the October membership, you'll get a full Astro Tarot reading for your sign. Um, you'll also get uh, access to our past classes, and you're going to get the full moon, I mean, the new moon meditation, plus Jen's class, which we went way over. So there's so much content there for you. Um, she goes over your specific number in nine star key and then how things are changing for you on october 8th so if you wanted a deeper dive the membership to wise guys collective is only 22 bucks so i just wanted to invite you guys to join because she really went overboard and gave us a phenomenal um teaching that is specific to you and i couldn't wrap my head around it so maybe the podcast will help you because i, I just learned so much with my time with her yesterday um, but anyways, you are here for Tarot, so I'm using a new deck that was gifted to me by one of you guys, you know who you are, thank you, um, and it's called the Lover's Path Tarot, and so um, this is from an old friend, an old client, and um, she's just somebody that loves life, she's a Cancer, and so finding this, the Lover's Path Tarot is a really sweet gift, so thank you sweet friend. And let's just see. Let's see what the cards have to say. Let's clear the deck for Aries and see what our Aries friends need to hear. Okay. Okay. Let's see. We get the Prince of Staves, which is like the wands. And Oh no, the card of contemplation. Okay, so this is a brand new deck to me and I can't think quickly on what the card of contemplation is. So we're going to roll with that. <laughs> Something needs to be contemplated. You feel like taking action, Aries, but really you need to be thinking about it. So just think about what actions you're taking or think about the actions you have been taking. Um, you don't necessarily have to go forward with your, those actions this weekend, but it does look like you need to be considering what's next, you know what I mean? And organizing your thoughts in a way will help you kind of um, streamline your life and make things a little bit more efficient. All right, let's clear uh, for, so it looks like you got some next steps, some action planning to do. You're like, I know that already, Tiffany. All right, well, clear, good job. I know, I know you know, because you were born wise, right? Uh, let's clear the deck for um, Taurus. Sometimes my mind is like Tuesday. It goes to like the second of a thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so the second of this thing is Taurus. Let's clear the deck for Taurus. Just see what comes up for our Taurus friends. Okay, we get the card of Triumph and the Five of Staves. All right, so it looks like you've got some new energy in terms of uh, love. It looks like there's been some complicating, sorry, complicating factor, something that felt very complex or very intense or very conflicted or very like, ugh, something came together out of some tension, you know what I mean? And then here we are over here with this card of Triumph and victory and love, right? So I would say take a chance. 
you know, overcome any of your anxieties and fears and fall in love with life or uh, go on a new date or get together with somebody that you haven't hung out with in a long time. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, this is, to me, this vibe is just like, get over it. Get over yourself and go forward and have fun. All right, let's clear the deck for uh, Gemini. Let's see what our Gemini friends need to hear for Friday. Just giving us a good shuffle. I know it's kind of loud. It's a brand new deck. Okay, Gemini. And we get this card of illusion. So this is like the moon, right? The card of illusion and the four of staves. And so Gemini, you could be falling in love with love itself instead of looking at what's actually there in front of you. Instead of living like a little bit more practically, it looks like you could be falling in love with love, right? So be careful if you're uh, deluding yourself when it comes to love. Um, be careful if you're deluding yourself in any capacity, you know what I mean? Just, um, it's hard because you don't know when you're being delusional. You're just like living your life thinking everything's normal. But is there um, any reason that this weekend you might step back and really assess uh, what the truth is of your some of your relationships, you know what I mean? So. That's all. And the truth is usually good news because the truth brings clarity. And then you can deal with things from a more honest place, right? All right, let's clear the deck for any Cancers watching. Cancers. Clearing for Cancers. What our Cancer friends need to hear? It is so much fun to shuffle a new deck, right? All right, clearing for Cancers. Okay. So we get the Two of Cups and the Triumph card. Man, this is the loveliest love connection there is. All right, so if you're not feeling in love, uh, that can be an unfun message to hear. But this is like a, this is a chance for you to reignite some feelings that you have with uh, your significant other. This can be a time um, when good connections are made, when um, you can repattern or retrain some of the negative uh, patterns that might be cropping up in your relationships. This, these are both cards of connection. So this weekend, really finding some time to connect, um, to have quality time with the people that you love, um, to know each other's love languages, you know what I mean, and love them that way. Um, and the love, our love languages do evolve over time. They do change and they do mature. Um, mine, for a long time, was um, gifts, of, gifts, gifts of service, uh, gifts. And that felt like a really shallow one to identify with, you know, but... Why do I like gifts? Because I, uh, it makes me feel considered. It makes me feel thought of. Um, I don't need a bunch of junk and stuff, right? But just even like plant seeds, like it just touches my heart so much because I'm considered. And that love language has evolved. And I, I really like giving gifts too. You know, I like uh, putting together baskets with jellies and jams and plants and bringing them over to people. I'm sure half of them get thrown away, <laughs> right? But the, that's... That's an illustration of how your love language can shift and change over time, right? All right, let's clear the deck for Leos. Let's see what our Leos need to hear for the weekend ahead. Just clearing for Leos. Okay. Ten of coins, nine of coins, Leos. This is like big money, big money weekend. So I would say if you have plans to work, that's awesome. If you don't have plans to work and you want to build your budget for the future, you want to work on some financial goals and dreams, this would be a great time for that. Um, the coins doesn't always have to be about money. Um, sometimes it's about worth or net worth or self-worth, those type of things. But usually the Ten of Coins is equally about uh, feeling uh, fulfillment, feeling success, uh, tasting um, fame, you know what I mean? Tasting some importance, like feeling like a big shot, you know what I mean? So I'd say whatever you need to do to feel like a big shot this weekend, Leo, the cards are in your favor. All right, let's clear the deck for Virgos. What do our Virgo friends need to hear for the weekend? Just clearing for Virgos. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right, we got this Triumph card so many times now. We've got the Triumph card and the Nine of Staves, which is like the Nine of Wands. And so this, to me, feels like victory. It feels like a sense of accomplishment. It feels like a win over a lot of hard work. Um, this weekend in the astrology, Mars will be trining Saturn. And so I know a lot of you guys have put in a lot of hard work. There's been a lot of effort made lately. Um, you've clocked some long hours, you know what I mean? And so to me, this looks like 
uh, a reminder, Virgo, for you to be like grateful to take it to take a pause to be like, wow, I really did accomplish a lot, you know. So take your hat off, kick your feet up, uh, pat yourself on the back, and and really um, enjoy the fruits of your labor. Is how I would translate that. All right, let's clear the deck for Libra. What is it our Libra friends need to hear for the weekend ahead? Clearing for Libra. Okay, a Prince of Staves and a King of Coins. All right, Libra, it looks like you are um, working, you're accessing information from a couple of different levels, right? We are multidimensional beings. Um, we receive information in different layers, um, but it looks like there's a part of you that's like, got that wanderlust that's just ready to go on an adventure, do something different, and then there's that part of you that's really wanting to be a little bit more financially um, respectful, responsible, and conservative. And so you've got those two sides of you talking to you this weekend, and what should you do? Uh, Prince of Arrows. You should think about it. <laughs> the arrows are that uh, mental space. Yeah, the Princess of Arrows. I guess you just need to think about it a little bit longer. Follow your own strategy and authority if you know your human design. Follow your own uh, moon sign, right? Follow your own body system. But it looks like you're just kind of going back and forth a little bit. And when we're in our mind like that, when we're thinking too much, um, it can we can ignore our, our body system. So I want you to remember if you get stuck in like uh, this or that mode, uh, what does your body want to do? Um, sometimes it helps when somebody can ask you questions and you can answer rather than just letting the mind go on the crazy train, right? All right, let's clear the deck now for our Scorpios. Clearing the deck for Scorpios. What do our Scorpio friends need to hear? Clearing for Scorpios. All right, we get the card of illusion, like the moon, and the card of innocence, which is zero, like the fool. All right, and so this is just asking you um, to to set aside what you think you know. You know what I mean? To set aside what you think you know so that you can have a new experience, right? Set aside what you think you know is the moon, taking away all of those ideas and experiences that are forming the story that you've created. And then the zero card, the innocence card, is that childlike wonder that you're on a new path, you're on a new adventure. You know what I mean? You're practicing in your own Scorpio experiment, aren't you, right? So set aside what you think you know so you can have a new experience this weekend. For me personally, I am looking at um, going to a beekeeping school, and I am um, I can set aside what I think I know to have a new experience because the more you know, the less you know. You know what I mean? So um, I can definitely apply that to myself at least for one of the days. Um, good advice all around, but that one's for Scorpio. And let's clear now for Sag. What do our Sagittarius friends need to hear for this weekend? Something that helps them feel seen from the unseen world, loved and touched from spirit. All right, we get the Five of Cups and the Prince of Coins here. And so the Five of Cups, you know, this is often a, a moment of grief, a moment of sadness, a uh, that feeling of like misconnections, that feeling of loneliness, that feeling of being alone. Um, but the Five of Cups, it always, he always, in the art, there's usually three that are spilled over and two that are upright, indicating that really everything's okay. You still have what you need. We don't need to cry over spilled milk or look in the past. Um, if, and then the Prince of Coins, this is like taking care of business. You know what I mean? You're just getting your footing, you're taking care of business. Uh, you're going in a new direction. The five reminds me of the medicine wheel and what Jen taught me in our nine star key workshop that you're going to get if you're a member for, you know, is that the five in the medicine wheel is that turning point where it's like we can look back and see what we've accomplished. We can look forward and see where we're going. And the five here in the um, tarot indicates some, stri some strife, some grief, something that just doesn't feel like it's going well. So what is going to stabilize you, you know, is to say thank you to my past and thank you to my future, but to still stay present with what needs to be done today. You know what I mean? This is a card of being practical, logical, realistic. Um, and so, you know, staying out of any uh, woe is me thoughts is hard, right? Um, and so we just do it moment by moment. We put ourselves on a little mental diet like, nope, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to stay present and do the next right thing. Not the next thing right, right? 
All right, let's clear now for Capricorn. What do our Capricorn friends need to hear on a Friday here? Clearing for Capricorns. Okay, clearing for Capricorns. All right, the card of wisdom and the three of staves. So Capricorn, I want you to have some discernment with where you're going this weekend. It looks like you are going on an adventure. It looks like you have a journey in front of you. It looks like you've got some commitments or something fun that you've promised to do yourself, to, to do with others or for yourself. But I do want you to use some discernment. Um, where's your energy level? Do you feel like doing it all? Do you feel like politely declining? You know what I mean? So this is a card of using discernment on where you're going this weekend. All right. Uh, let's clear the deck for Aquarius. What do our Aquarius friends need to hear? Just clearing for Aquarius. Okay. All right. We get the nine of staves, the two of arrows. All right, so it looks like you've got a difficult decision to make, Aquarius, something that is kind of taxing you, something that you've thought about. Again, just like the Libra reading, I want you to try to get out of your mind and just say, thank you, mind. Thank you for the pros and cons. I've thought about it. And nothing, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it doesn't even matter what you thought about because we want to get back into the body system, follow your own circuitry. Um, what does it feel like? Does it feel like a yes? Does it feel like a no? Do I need to experience some more emotions around it? Um, before you come up with a conclusion. This may not be the weekend to make a conclusion, but at least let yourself off the hook from thinking about it. You know what I mean? Can you just let yourself off the hook so that you can have a breath of fresh air, set it over here, get back into your decision-making mode by understanding how you're feeling in your body about it. All right. Um, let's clear now for Pisces. What do our Pisces friends need to hear today? Okay, Pisces. Okay. The Judgment card and the Princess of Arrows. What I'll say about the Judgment card is it came up in so many of your individual horoscope readings for the month of October. Um, so I know that the Judgment card is um, going to be, I guess, part of a lot of our stories that we're weaving throughout October. But for you, Pisces, it looks like uh, you, you're also just in that phase of life where um, you're standing proud of all that you've done. You know that you're able to see how far you've come. Um, you're able to see some of your accomplishments. And yet still you yearn and still you dream and still you're, you're going on another chapter. It's like you're living 50 lifetimes in one lifetime. It's like you're on this magic carpet ride. Just don't forget to, to, you know, I guess it's like that whole coffee cup thing. It's like, oh, what you're having now is what you prayed for, what you prayed for years ago. You know what I mean? And so just having a moment of realization of how far you have come while you can still dream for the future. Um, that's what that looks like to me. Standing in judgment is a card of karma. It's a card of being able to clean up some of the past, too. Um, and it's also a karma boomerang card. So if something comes into your periphery or your spirit TV, your experience this weekend that you don't like, can you just, uh, like, not not like it, you know what I mean? And just observe it and be like, okay, I have somehow participated in the creation of this event. I'm going to take responsibility through the Ho'oponopono prayer, right? I'm so sorry person. I've used your words against myself and um, please forgive me and I love you and thank you. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you and thank you over and over. And it's directed inward so that you can clear up any karma in your field. So guys, it's dicey out there in the astrology. So if it gets dicey in your life, just remember you can always visualize a tube of electronic white light down around and through you connecting into the new earth energy. Um, you can take a few deep breaths. You don't have to respond right away. Um, you can take a pause. You can drink more water. You can go to bed earlier. Um, you can have nutrients. You know what I mean? Um, but overall, uh, just take care of yourself. You know what I mean? Take care of yourself this weekend. And if this has been fun for you and you've enjoyed it and you enjoy Free to Row Fridays and you want to help Wise Skies with all the platforms that we're on, um, I accept Venmo and PayPal. And I will use that to, to pay for all of our different platforms. So 
Um, thank you for any virtual tips you want to share my way. If not, please pay it forward to somebody else. This is a gift of time, and I hope that you'll use that uh, responsibly with a gift of your time for somebody else. Um, and guys, I guess that's it. I told you about October 13th. Please get registered for Jen's Foundations and Nine Star Key class. Um, if you've been wanting to schedule with Leisha for Human Design, her schedule is now open in October. Um, same with April, her schedule is now open for October. So everybody, all four of us are on board for you. Um, and we've got some other fun little pieces we're working on. We, we joined together to write an article about uh, why you should or should not use Ouija boards. Um, so there's some fun stuff coming in October. Just stay tuned and let us know what you think of the new website at wiseguyscollective.com. So uh, have a great weekend and, uh, and namaste.